Hey team, um, I just wanted to make this video to show you how to create your own clickable ads for a back page or whatever um, using any image you desire to use. So I'll kind of go through how to create one. Let's say if you want to do a screenshot of your, your email inbox showing you got to sign up or whatever. So we'll go and uh, start from there. So just open up the email browser. Um, you'll want to have photo bucket. So let's go over there. And this is just a place if you don't have a, an account already. Um, somewhere where you can just attach or upload images to and then always have them online. And then you can refer to them via the link that you get from them. it seems like I already have logged into it. Um, I would suggest having one for business stuff and then one for your personal if you already have it. That way you don't have all of your um, your uh, pictures mixed in. Um, I already have some photos in but what I'll do just for the sake of this is I'll start from scratch. Oh, let me open back page just to have that there. Okay, so what I'll do is go to, let's see here, capture page. I kind of like to keep all my things in folders. And then what I will do is take a screenshot of this and then go over here. I got Windows 8, so apologize for this. Uh, can't even spell. Open Paint. Paste that image in there. And then what I'm going to do is uh, select, and I only want to select this right here, so I see my image, and that right there. And then I will hit the crop button, and then I will extend this down so I can write my little message in there. So, get a text box going over here. And as uh, Chris was saying, you always want to talk about lead generation. So, let's say here. Hmm. Look at all the hot leads. We are able to generate to our site by only to this part time uh, let's see here do this part time while still going to school, work, and raising a family. What is your excuse? Come check us out.
Mm. Let's see here. Come check us out. See what our team is all about. All right. So then, uh, let's see here. I think that should be good enough for, let me make a circle, I want it red, no fill, and let's highlight this right there. Alright, and I think that should be good enough just for this. So then what you'll want to do is save it as a JPEG and let's see here proof where I keep my images posting material okay let's see here hot leads and just for now all right, so now we have that. That's how you pretty much get the image um, done up. I mean, you can do whatever you want, write whatever you want. This is just an example to give you the tools on how to do it. All right, so leave that open just in case. So then over here, what you'll do is go to your photo bucket, click on Upload, and you can either try to find it or I like to just go and drag and drop so documents business social custom material where I save that at hot minimize that drag and drop let that save in there Come on, you can do it. All right, while that's loading, um, what I would also recommend doing is either opening a web doc or a Word document. If you don't have Microsoft Word, really used to this Windows 8. Alright, so yeah, if you don't have Microsoft Word, then you can just use the uh, notepad that comes with. And then here's where you're going to put your HTML coding. Um, so what you'll want to do is get a open and close little bracket thing. Um, do it twice and then you'll just do uh, slash A and that's going to end the uh, attachment or the link and then hit A in this one space so href equals and then two quotation marks in here is where you're going to put the actual link to the website you want and then what you'll do is um, you can put the uh, if you have for explosion you can put your page there but back page for some reason doesn't like it um, I think it's dealing with the uh, user ID equals question mark whatever um, but if you have the viral profits or the VPN you can put that link in there too so let's see if this is done and it seems like it has 
not wanting to play. Cancel that and try again. I don't know why it's so slow this time. Usually it takes but a few seconds. So what I'll do is, while well, that's loading because it's taking forever, I'll just open the library in another tab so you can kind of see how to just access the photo itself. Um, it seems like the internet's going really slow tonight. But that's uh, German internet for you. Ah, there we go. Okay, so... So then you just go to your library, and as we see this one, oh, it uploaded twice. Okay, so um, what you'll do is just click on it, and you don't have to give it a title or anything. What you're really worried about is this over here. So you go to the HTML, and then just click on it, and it's going to already copy. So then you go in here, and it's going to come with the tags already built in so then paste it as you can see you have your a your href equals and then the two quotation marks and then inside you have your link so since this is linking towards photo bucket what you'll want to do is delete that and then you don't really need target blank and all this other stuff so you can delete that as well and then um well, uh, let me see here. I usually have another one. Oh, where's it at? Go back over here. Yeah. My posting. Okay, so I have my link over here. So then I will just copy and paste this. And I go back to this over here. and that's just to my VPN site right there. So then the image is going to be the image you just copied from, which is from Photo Bucket. And then you can leave all this there and this is basically if the photo doesn't come, then uh this is what it's going to have. It's just going to say um photohotleads.jpg showing that there's supposed to be a picture there or something. So then um what you can do let's say if you wanted to have some text in your thing Oh, and you always want to make sure that this is centered for back page. So you just put in here center, and that's just going to make sure your image is always in the center. So then you'll put, um, let's see here, look at all of the leads generated to my site only doing this on the side when I have a free minute. This team hmm, has taught me a lot and has no competition in the market. Why does that look weird? I'll delete that. I think that's right next to yeah. Right, so uh, let's see here. So for that one, bring that down. So you're going to want to have BR for break on some of these, and that's going to tell the uh, browser to read it as so. That way, these things are always right where you want them. 
All right, and then another one, BR. Click image below to find out more. BR, close brackets, okay. So that's pretty much it. So what I'll do is I'll copy and paste this into the uh, back page. So let's see here if I wanted to post in, let's go California, no Palm Springs. That seems good enough. And then post an ad. All right, so services. Business Ops and Palm Springs. All right, then. And I think Larry Marcus had a great email with some information on it that I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, let's see here. Where was it at? Was it promotions? Explosional here. I think it was here, down at the bottom. Always read these. These things have some useful tips right here. I thought this was an interesting one to start off with for something. Let's see here. So, paste that there. We do. And this is just, I mean, you don't have to do that. I like to use some of the information that he passes out. So then, you know, I should probably go recopy and paste that. Copy, paste. And I'm just using Control C to copy and Control V. It's a lot faster than right clicking, having to, you know, scroll down and, you know, you right click and then you gotta look for whatever, copy and then paste. So right here then copy and then paste no I just use shortcuts um, I guess I'm just a nerd <laughs> so um, yeah so that's in there and then you just scroll down hit on continue and it's gonna ask you to do whatever you have to do for the the capture thing the code but this is basically what it's gonna look like so you're gonna have your text as you see because of the BR the break um, in line everything's you know somewhat even right you have your spaces in between you have your picture and it's a clickable and if you look down towards the bottom right here and you hover over it it's gonna have the website that you want to send the people to so after everything looks good if it doesn't just click on uh, edit add and fix whatever needs to be fixed so then just type in the code space 29 place the ad and that's it and then all you gotta do is uh, post another ad in a different city different state or whatever and all you're doing is you're copy and pasting and I do let's say maybe sometimes 20 30 minutes a day posting on back page Craigslist um, different other sites that I tend to frequent trying to advertise and get leads and stuff like that so I mean it's working um, just you know sometimes you gotta tweak it up try different things if you get um, if you get flagged or whatever switch up the wording of it some people are just out there to try to block you so they can get all the action so don't get frustrated just keep pushing don't let people you know tend to bring you down because they're either jealous or they're not you know not great with competition so just keep doing what you're doing and um, if you need any help or you got any questions just let me know this is Tony thank you for watching and hope this works for you peace out